Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on November 16th, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well. Earthquakes, volcanoes, and a look at world weather. Looking at the last 48 hours, 304 angstroms, large sunspot region turning away, and we've got another one turning in, total antipode, opposite side of those sunspot regions looking at the last 48 hours incoming on the left hand side large coronal hole on the southern hemisphere and pretty sizable sunspot region behind that looking at outgoing very spastic and flaring sunspot region on the left hand side plasma filaments on the right hand side one of them destabilizing there in the last view closer look at the sunspot regions brought to you by solar dynamics observatory We've got a filament stretched across the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere right now with a large coronal hole and fiery sunspot region turning in so busy sun starting to pick up again Having a look at multi-spectrum imagery. Very complex coronal hole in the southern hemisphere. Looking at another light here. Amazing images brought to you by SDO and put together here with daily events worldwide. I want to thank everybody for tuning in today. Hope you all have enjoyed your day. Stay safe, stay aware, prepared here with daily events and much love. Having a look at the solar X-ray flex remains in C range. No new major solar flares to talk about. Solar proton flux remains steady. Geomagnetic activity slightly elevated just recently as we are expecting the solar storm 17th into the 18th. But we've seen some heightened telemetry here in the solar winds. 340 kilometers per second right now, but it jumped up to about 485. Looking at our geospace magnetosphere, this is what our magnetosphere looks like as it's being penetrated by over 350 kilometers per second solar winds. And this is our pressure planes. As you can see, Earth is not under much pressure right now. But I'm sure this map will change in the next 24 hours. Stay tuned for the next update. We will show you how the pressure changes. Having a look at LASCO 2 energy taking off from our sun. Bright stars on the left-hand side. That is Venus and Mercury. ISPA Space Prediction Spiral showing the solar stream that is expected to hit Earth here on the 18th. It's going to quickly move in on the 17th into the 18th, so tomorrow and the day after. Schumann resonance for today, a power of 37. Healthy spike there today, wow. Amplitude of 37, quality of 8.2, power of 18. And now let's get to earthquakes here, as just recently we saw... A rare and large earthquake here, Mentone, Texas, 5.3. This is the largest I've ever seen in the region. That is right on the border, right close to the border with Mexico. My, oh, my. How many people felt that one? 5.3 rocking Mentone, Texas. And north of that, we've seen quite a bit of activity as well. 3.7, Revali, Montana, 11-kilometer depth. And just south of there in Idaho, 3.0, 3.6, southern Idaho. Seen about six earthquakes there today. But still, strange place for a large 5.3 earthquake. North American plate, heads up. 4.4 there, Barica, Panama. Minor activity through the Caribbean. Notable there in the northeast. New earthquake, South America. Still very quiet for my liking. A 4.8 is the only one reported here. Coquimbo, Chile. And as well, a 4.5, Palora, Ecuador. 
going further south, South Coast Scotia Plate, South Sandwich Islands, 5.2, 62-kilometer depth. Minor activity continuing through Alaska, largest being a 3.7 there, Denali Park. And then a very deep and rare earthquake as well here, Herlongjiang, China, 577-kilometer depth, though. Wow. Just north of Korea. 4.2 Japan Islands, Japan region, Volcano Islands region. And then a sizable 5.5 here, Bengkulu, Indonesia. Sumatra has been very busy as of late. 5.1 there, reported yesterday. Fours and fives across the Philippines and Indonesia. 4.5 here in Hevaluoto, Tonga, 466 kilometer depth just recently. Notable there, south of Australia, 5.0 and a 4.9, Macquarie Island, and quiet across the African plate and up into Europe. Having a look at the last seven days for earthquakes across the planet. No major issues right now, but some strange earthquakes in strange places. Mentone, Texas, 5.3 earthquake. Largest earthquake this week was 7.2, about five days ago reported. But things are definitely picking up. Yesterday we were sitting at over 260 earthquakes across USGS. Right now we're sitting at 230. Let's get to the Pacific Disaster Center showing the most recent satellite imagery and as well the most recent volcanoes to update you for. Looking at 168 active hazards right now, and many of these are floods. Just updated about an hour ago. Probably got 100 floods across the world right now. Got a brand new volcano awakening, Copahue in Chile, Argentina. About eight hours ago, putting out an alert. Scrolling through here, try to find the rest of the volcanoes that are erupting today amongst all of these flood alerts across the world. Swiss and Ajima in Japan, Sabancaya in Peru, Popopiquetito in Mexico, Fuego, Guatemala, Shevelich in Russia, Simru, Indonesia, Era in Japan. So that's about seven volcanoes getting updated today, and one of them awakening, Copahue, Chile-Argentina border. Having a look at the rest of the world, satellite imagery. Winter storm conditions up into the Atlantic provinces right now. And as well, Quebec, as that system moved northeast. And now colder conditions have moved in. But watch for temperatures to swing up and down over the next little bit. Even seeing some above seasonal temps for eastern Canada and United States. Lots of moisture moving into Europe this week and as well parts of Central Africa. Huge line of moisture moving in from the northwest. Having a look at Venture Sky showing here at the next five day forecast as that large system heads out into the Atlantic. Watch for snowy conditions to move into Ontario. And then a system here developing in the Gulf. That could, could mix with some very warm temperatures and head north. It may even graze the coastline here, but models are showing it quickly being ushered out into the Atlantic. Very dominant cold front across Canada right now, eastern Canada. And then by... Thursday, the 24th, watch for a big system to move in through the Central Plains. Overlooking the West Coast. Dry for the next few days until about Sunday or Monday. till the next systems come in. Snowy conditions and as well some very windy conditions as an atmospheric river of moisture heads your way to BC, Washington border. Overlooking South America. And the Atlantic, no major tropical systems developing. Daily evaporation rains throughout 
No major systems there affecting South America. Africa, not much to report here either. Next few days, daily evaporation rains, central regions, and Europe. You've got two low-pressure systems affecting you right now. One over the Mediterranean will be heading up into Eastern Europe and then into Russia. But some pretty strong systems here by next weekend. Heading into the Mediterranean and as well coastal regions, Ireland and the UK. Watch for stormy conditions to move up into Turkey this week as well. Long range forecast. Southeast Asia and Indonesia, Malaysia. No major tropical system developing, but some pretty heavy rains through parts of northern, southern Sumatra, and then a big system heading into Pakistan. Overlooking Australia, down under. They've had some ab abnormal amounts of rain this year already, and they've got some pretty big systems affecting them over the next few days, especially western parts. You could see some torrential flooding. Quick look here over the Pacific, showing the systems gearing up for the west coast. And as well, a look into the southern hemisphere. Long range forecast here for temperatures towards the end of the month. We actually could see some above seasonal temperatures for eastern Canada and as well the United States. But those cold temperatures are lingering just above the Hudson Bay. And the polar vortex is set up. She is raring to go. Cold temperatures affecting most of eastern Canada right now, but not dipping as far south as we think it would. Quick look at the southern hemisphere versus the northern. And as well, I'm going to show you versus last year at this time. I want to thank you all for watching today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please don't forget to consider leaving a like, comment where you're watching from, tell me how much you enjoy the videos. Thanks again for watching. Much love. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.